What is this? I have some paracord soaking in some hot water for about 15 to 20 minutes and uh, what I'm going to do with this is going to wrap this around the roof racks and uh, as paracord dries it shrinks and it really bonds to a surface making it real tight and once I get this uh, paracord on there I'm going to let it uh, bake and dry for about uh, six or seven hours and uh, I'll get this roof rack mounted on the Jeep okay well, what I'm gonna do here I'm going to use um, an old-fashioned bowline knot on the edges here I'll do one at a time and I'll wrap the paracord around the rack diagonally and uh, cut the other end and tie it off with a, uh, a bowline knot Here are the roof racks and I'm going to get them mounted on the Jeep right now. Now the first thing I have to do is take a few measurements just to show you guys how this is done now. My Jeep Wrangler I have a, uh, a four door and I have to measure back from the front here about seven inches and position the first rack here. And then behind the rear window, I measure seven inches back from this point and mount the second rack here. So I have my tape measure. I'm going to make the measurements and go ahead and uh, get that uh, rack positioned up there. So I'm going to go ahead and just place them up there and then uh, make the uh, micro seven inch adjustment, then tighten them down. So I need to remove four covers using a rubber flathead screwdriver. And this should just pop off. Revealing a torque screw right there and I need to loosen this up, not remove it, but loosen it up enough to where there'll be some play in this right here. So I'm gonna repeat this step on the other three sides. I have all four covers removed and I've loosened the screw behind all four covers. You don't want to lose this. My keep this in my glove compartment. So let's get these on the roof. Let's tighten these down. And as these are tightened down, make sure that this is in the groove. Right here. There's padding right here to prevent it from scratching the paint on your vehicle. I'm going to tighten this down nice and secure. I've measured both sides three times to make sure from here to here is seven inches. On my Jeep, I found it best to go ahead and remove that cover and then position these, then place the cover on here, and then tighten them down. Okay, both racks are on. And I know that they're oriented in the right uh, position. This is the leading edge right here. I've marked an arrow on the front pointing in that direction. So pretty easy to install. That sounded pretty secure. Now all that's left is to put the covers back on. And snap that cover into place and tighten and turn this clockwise. Do the same thing on the other three. Okay, the chop's complete. This took me about 30 minutes.
There it is. Roof racks installed. Took about 30 minutes to complete. I think they look good. So the next step here is to take it out and test drive it. And to see if there's any noise. It's a hot one out here today. The timing could not have been more perfect. About uh, 10 minutes after I installed the roof rack, this came in. This was going on top of it. This is a uh, Thule rooftop cargo carrier. This is the XTXL. It's the large one. So here it is. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Here's the unit. If I'm not mistaken, this is about uh, 22 pounds. And if you're a strong person, you can get that up there by yourself. But I'm going to have my daughter, she's tall, help me hoist up on the roof. Once you get the cargo box aligned up on the roof rack, just eyeballing it and getting these uh, right here aligned with this, it's pretty much self-guiding. You keep turning this until you hear it click one time and you know it's uh, on there correctly. So all four of these are tightened down. And I'm very happy, it looks good. And uh, last minute checks here, let's take a look at it from a front view. It looks good. I'm gonna take it out for a test drive. I'm at about 50 miles per hour right now, and I hear no whistling, nothing. It's almost as if I don't have a cargo box on top of the Jeep. Seriously. 